Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. This week I'm sharing three easy Mexican recipes and one yummy dessert that are perfect for Taco Tuesday. If you're looking for more ideas, I made a similar video last year and I'll make sure to add that link to the description box. For dinner tonight, we're making taco soup. You are going to need some ground beef. I'm using lean ground beef. You're going to need some frozen corn, ranch seasoning mix, taco mix, and I am using the one by Trader Joe's because I love it so much. I'm using charro beans, but the original recipe calls for kidney beans. I'm also using a can of Rotel, tomato sauce, and onions. So the first thing you're gonna do is brown your ground beef and onions until it is cooked. If you are using anything other than a lean ground beef, you're gonna want to drain uh, your meat after you're finished cooking it. Um, I'm using a lean ground beef, so I won't need to drain it after everything is done. Okay, so my meat is cooked. Now I'm adding in my water. And I'm gonna add in the rest of my ingredients. Here is my taco seasoning. If you have never tried Trader Joe's taco seasoning, you should definitely give it a try. It is so good, so flavorful, love it. And then I'm adding in my ranch seasoning. Adding in my Rotel with the juice. and my tomato sauce. My charro beans. The original recipe calls for kidney beans and I'm using charro beans, which are basically a seasoned pinto bean. And now I'm adding in my frozen sweet corn, which is also from Trader Joe's. And I'm just gonna give this a good mix and then I'm gonna cover this and let it simmer for at least half an hour more for more flavor, or more for more flavor. Okay, so here's the taco soup. I let it simmer for half an hour and then we added on our toppings. So this is my husband's bowl and he added sour cream, avocado, and cheddar cheese. And here is my bowl and I just added um, cheese and tortilla strips. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all for the next meal. Today I'm making oven-baked Frito pie. So you're gonna need diced tomatoes, chili beans, tomato sauce. You're going to need corn chips, cheese, and protein. I am using a pound of ground turkey, just trying to eat better, but you can also use ground chicken or ground beef. So let's get started. All right, so I've got my turkey all cooked up, drain the fat. Now I'm adding in my tomato sauce, my chili beans, my diced tomatoes, and I totally forgot that I was supposed to add in my taco seasoning earlier when I gave you all the ingredients. So I'm just adding in my taco seasoning and I'm just using my favorite Trader Joe's taco seasoning. So I'm gonna let this come together and then I'm gonna add in a handful of cheese. Okay, so I've got my chili mixture all together and then I have an eight by eight casserole dish and I put half of the um, corn chips in the dish and now I'm just gonna spread my chili mixture right on top. Now, if you have a larger family, of course, you could always double this recipe and use a nine by 13 pan, but it's just Howard and I that will be eating this. So um, this is the perfect size for us. Okay, so I am going to pop this in the oven for about 20 minutes, and then I'll show you what comes next. Okay, so I just took the casserole out of the oven. So the original directions say to add about a cup and a half of sour cream right on top of that chili layer. I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna add sour cream to our individual portions. Um, and then you're supposed to top it with the corn chips, which is what I'm doing right now. 
And then after that, you're supposed to layer it with um, the remaining cheese. And then you're supposed to pop it back in the oven for about uh, five minutes or so, or when that cheese is melted. Okay, so here's our dinner. Here is Howard's plate. And I had some lettuce in my fridge that I needed to use. So Howard is eating his Frito pie over the lettuce and he's added sour cream and avocado. And then here is my plate. I'm eating my lettuce as a side salad. I've got some salsa on there. And then I added some additional salsa to the um, Frito pie casserole. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Today I'm making chicken Doritos casserole. Now I'm making a few variations to this recipe and I'll make sure to point them out. So you are going to need some cooked chicken and we are using dark meat chicken, that's what we prefer. You're also going to need some taco seasoning and I have Monterey Jack cheese here. The original recipe calls for cheddar but I really like Monterey Jack. You're gonna need sour cream, some Rotel, cream of chicken, milk, and of course you're going to need Doritos. The original recipe calls for just the original Doritos, but I really like the salsa verde and so that's what I'm using. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is mix everything together except the Doritos. So I just added in my taco seasoning, my drained Rotel, my sour cream, my cream of chicken and I am using unsalted cream of chicken just to try to cut down on some of that sodium. My milk and my Monterey Jack cheese. And I'm adding more than the recipe calls for. And I'm just gonna give this a good stir until it is all combined. Okay, so I have the chicken mixture all combined and I have an 11 by seven pan here. The original recipe calls for a eight inch pan. I think that's too small in my opinion. So I'm using this and I am spreading out about two cups of uh, Doritos into my greased pan. And then I'm gonna add a layer of the chicken mixture and then I am going to repeat. Now, if you've never had the Salsa Verde Doritos, they do have a little kick to them. They have jalapeno powder, so they're definitely um, a lot more spicy than the traditional or original Doritos, but I really like them. So I've got my Doritos down and now I'm going to add, like I said, half of that chicken mixture and then I'm just going to repeat the layers. Okay, so I finished layering everything and now I'm just going to top the casserole with some additional cheese. Again, I'm using Monterey Jack and this is an eight ounce block that I shredded. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. So afterwards, I am just going to pop this in the oven for about 30, 35 minutes or until it's, you know, cooked through. So here is the Doritos casserole and it is so good. I think I mentioned that I baked it uncovered and I baked it for about 35 minutes. With it, I am serving a side of Mexican rice and I do have a recipe on our channel, um, a video on our channel showing how I make my Mexican rice. It is so easy to make. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dessert, I'm making sopapilla cheesecakes. This is such an easy recipe. I am making just half of a recipe, so if you're making it for a large group of people, you'll wanna double the ingredients. So you're gonna need some melted butter. You're going to need crescent rolls. So the recipe calls for crescent rolls, but I am using a crescent roll dough sheet. You're gonna need some softened cream cheese and sugar, and then you're gonna need additional sugar and cinnamon for the topping. So let's get started. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me, what I've done so far is take the crescent roll dough out of the tube, and I spread it out, 
and then I'm just cutting it in half, in half, and I'm taking half of it, and I'm gonna press it into the bottom of my eight by eight pan. And you're just gonna spread it out and cover the bottom. Okay, so I've got my crescent dough all pressed out. I am going to par bake this for about seven to eight minutes because I don't like my bottom crust to be doughy. Now the directions don't call for that, so you don't have to, but again, I don't like a doughy crust. So while my crust is par baking, let's work on the filling. So I've got my um, brick of cream cheese. Again, it's eight ounces softened, and I just added some sugar in. And so now I'm just going to use a mixer and beat it until it's smooth. Okay, so I par baked my crust for about eight minutes and now I'm gonna take that cream cheese mixture and spread it over the top. By the way, I forgot to mention that the cream cheese mixture calls for vanilla. So I did add some vanilla in um, to the mixture as well. And next you're gonna take that second sheet of crescent roll and you're just gonna lay it on top and stretch it to cover. All right, so let's take that cinnamon and sugar and we're gonna mix that together for the topping. Okay, we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna bring this back. Okay, so we're gonna take that melted butter and just spread it right on top. And then you're gonna take your cinnamon sugar mixture and sprinkle it all around. And then you're gonna put this in your oven, which is preheated to 350 degrees. And you're gonna bake it for about 30 to 35 minutes. Okay, so here it is, hot out of the oven. I let it bake for exactly 35 minutes. So you'll need to let this cool completely before you cut it. It does need to be stored in the refrigerator, but it's best warm. So once it comes out of the refrigerator, you probably wanna microwave it for just a few seconds to warm it up a little bit. So here is the Sopapilla cheesecake. I let it cool completely. And as you can see, that cream cheese filling is completely set. So I cut, it out, cut out a couple of slices so you all could see what they look like. And you can see that that um, sugar crystallized and it is so good. And this is what it looks like close up. So I hope you all enjoyed this special edition of Taco Tuesday Dinner Ideas. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.